All right, here's an example of how to utilize layer masks when you're dealing with text. And what we're looking for is an effect like this, which is where I have this clip art, and he's like behind the letter, but poking his head through the letter. And um, this is achieved by adding a layer mask. That's what this little white box is. So I'm actually going to delete it so I can start from scratch and show you this process. Now we'll say it is easiest if you begin with a creature or whatever it is that is not on a background. Um, this particular one is a PNG file, so it's not on a background. Probably I would go ahead and, um, you know, take like this second picture. I would go ahead and remove the background before I pull it over, just so I don't have to contend with this white background. But, but I'm going to show you both ways, just so you know. So I've got this one in here. I'm ready to roll. I'm going to add my layer mask. And then we're going to use the layer mask to get rid of the parts of the giraffe we don't need to see. Now, in order to do that and not mess up our giraffe, because on a layer mask, you paint in black. So over here, you reset your colors, flip these to black. I'm on the layer mask. If you paint in black on a layer mask, it it's like the effect of erasing. So, like, I can paint out, and he's going to start disappearing, which is fine. But, like, I could just paint him out all kinds of ways, right? So the flip of that is to paint in white. White brings back anything that you have painted out. But what we want to do is make it so that we can't accidentally delete the wrong parts. Like we just want to make it look like the letter is going in front of the, the giraffe. So to do that, click on your text layer and hold down control and click on the little T. See, it makes that funny icon. That's going to put marching ants around the letters. Now, we're not doing anything to the letter layer. We're going to go back to the layer mask. But now that we have a selection, it will only allow us to paint in the selection. So I'm going to take black. And it doesn't matter if I paint here, it won't do anything because I have to be, uh, it has to be selected once you have a selection. So I can come in here, it's not going to hurt anything. And there we go. So now he looks like he's behind. That part goes up, press Control D to get rid of the marching ants. So there's that. Now let's take this second flamingo image. I'm going to first off remove the background. So I'll click on it with the um, magic wand because it's a solid background. I'm going to flip it, select the inverse. Notice we're missing the middle section, so I gotta remove that part out. That's easiest to do with my magic wand, and I'm gonna hold down the Alt key to subtract. All right, so we look in here, looks good. You can output it back to selection, um, or you can go ahead and put it on a layer mask. And I'm gonna, since I know I'm gonna need a layer mask, I'll just go ahead and put it on a layer mask and hit okay. So now we have a layer mask, but it's hiding the background. So I'm going to press Control T and scale down my little guy and put him in here. We're going to make him look like he's standing behind the letter, but then his head's going to poke out in front of the letter. Okay? So, again, back on your text layer, hold down Control, click on the T, and then back to the layer mask. And we take a black paintbrush in the selection to get rid of anything. And, again, doesn't matter if I paint over here because it's not in the selection, so I won't do anything. It will only paint in the selection. So as long as I don't go over there and touch this part of the little guy, I'm okay. And there we go. Control D to deselect. And that's the process for making them look like they're kind of wrapped around the letters. Now I caution you, make sure that that's where you want your things to be because you can't turn around and move them after the fact because your layer mask is for that part of the letter. So if I move it, see that's going to happen. Those parts are going to be missing. Um, so do be sure that any transformations like resizing or repositioning are done prior to doing the masking process because otherwise you're going to have that issue in the end. So you have to really like think ahead of time, like get all your images that you're going to put in there, pull them all in, get them all the right sizes, think about what's going in front and behind first, and then do the layer mask process. And that's it.